Hey everyone, Cody from Mac Telecom Networks. Earlier this morning, Ubiquity released Unify Network Application 7.5.187, and this brought a couple new features to the network controller. The biggest one was PPSK, or Private Pre-Shared Key. A lot of people have been asking about this feature, and now it's finally here in Release Candidate. Now saying that it's in Release Candidate, I probably wouldn't push this to any of my clients that are in production. I would test it out in my own lab first and see how it works. Once it goes to the general public, then I would push it out. So use at your own caution. PPSK allows us to have one single SSID with multiple different VLANs in the passwords. So if we create one password for VLAN 30, it will go onto that employee network. In this video, we'll create our PPSK with one Wi-Fi SSID and multiple different VLANs, and we'll take a look at a couple of the other features. If you'd like to hire me for network consulting, CCTV, VoIP, or access control, please visit my website at mactelecomnetworks.com. If you'd like to join our Discord, or if you want to use my affiliate links, they're down in the description below. The first thing that you're gonna need to do to get this update is go into your Unify console, click on applications, and then under the Unify Unify OS will see the release channel. I'm currently on official, but you'd want to drop it down to release candidate and then press apply changes and you should see that network controller update pop up. Now going into my network controller under Wi-Fi, you could see that I have four different SSIDs, Dolores, Mac Telecom camera, Mac Telecom guest, and then I have phone for my VoIP network for a Wi-Fi phone. But we're just going to want to have one Wi-Fi SSID, which would be my Dolores network. And then we could create multiple different PPSKs to tie to these other networks. I'm going to delete the guest network and the phone network. I'm going to leave the camera network on just because my doorbell's on that. But we will push it to the new PPSK network. Now to create PPSK, we want to click on the network that we want to use it on, which is Dolores. So I'll click on it. From here, we're going to want to go to manual. And this will show us private pre-shared key and it has a little eye icon. This is access additional networks via unique passwords all on the same Wi-Fi connection and we're going to check it off. Now we can see private pre-shared keys and the network. The network that I'm going to select, we already have our IoT, but I'm going to want to do one for the cameras. For this, I'm just going to put in test 1234 just for the demonstration and we're going to add it in. Next network we're going to do is for our VoIP network and I'm going to put in a password. The last one that we're going to do is for a guest network and again I'll put in another password. Once that's done, the only thing that I need to do is press save and then our access points will reprovision. Alright, so I did need to add my IoT network as well because it wasn't working after I just put the three in. You can see here that we have four private pre-shared keys configured and we can edit those and we could look at the passwords if we need. Now to show you that this is working, I'm going to connect to the IoT, the guest, and the VoIP network. Now down at the bottom, we could see that I have no internet connection. I disabled the Ethernet adapter. We're going to click on it and then go to Wi-Fi and select Dolores. This first password I'm going to put in is for my IoT network. Now we can see that it's connected. We're going to open up a command prompt and do IP config. And we could see that I'm getting an IP of 192.168.20.241. Now let's connect to my VoIP network. So I'm going to go ahead, click on my Wi-Fi, and I'm going to forget this network. Now I'm going to select that Wi-Fi network again, Dolores, and I'm going to put in the password for my VoIP network. And it's just VoIP at 1234 and then we'll press next. You can see now that I'm connected, we'll bring up a command prompt, do IP config, and you can see that I'm getting 10.10.10.241, which is my VoIP network. So now let's go ahead and connect to my guest network. We're gonna click back on Dolores, and then we're gonna connect and put in the password for the guest network. This guest network has a splash page on it, that's why we're being redirected right now. And you can see Unified Guest Wi-Fi will bring up a command prompt and we'll type in IP config again. And it's giving me an IP of 192.168.40.241, which is my guest network. It's not showing that we're connected because I haven't logged into the service yet. Now that's a really cool new feature and probably one of my favorites that Ubiquity has recently put out. Within this network update, we do have one more new thing. So new dashboards for Wi-Fi only setups. So this would be if you're not using a Unify console or a USG. So if you would just be using something like the cloud key or what they're showing here is the cloud key enterprise, this is what you would see. The first thing that we would see is down below, which is the active channels. This provides an overview of used channels across all access points. 
The next thing we would see is the Activity Insights, which allows you to view Wi-Fi traffic, client and TX retries in the same graph, which is awesome. And the last thing that we have is the Signal Strength Session Times Radio TX retries, which you can see over on the right hand side. So if you're using a cloud controller or one of the cloud keys, this is an awesome new addition. They do have a couple other improvements. Add active Wi-Fi channels to the dashboard, add validation for IPv6 prefix. We add new IP port range for Unify Talk default firewall rules, improve validation of selecting IPv6 WAN interface, improve network application startup for large setups, and the last thing, it limits the auto backup options to preserve console storage. Now that's gonna be it for this video on Unify Network Application 7.5.187, and I'm really glad that they brought in PPSK. A lot of people have been asking for it. This is release candidate, so use at your own discretion. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. If you're new here, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. All right, thanks.